the king of Israel had gotten into an alliance with King Jehoshaphat to go to a battle, a war. You know, it's a battle situation. And because King Jehoshaphat was a godly man, you know, he tells King Ahab, why not we seek God's counsel? Why not we hear the voice of God in the situation? So immediately, you know, though Ahab did not like it, but because uh, his uh, partner King tells it, he listens. So there is this prophet Micaiah who is a godly prophet and he is invited. Initially, Micaiah says, it's all going to be well, you can go for the battle. You know why? Ahab never wanted to listen to the real voice of God. He wanted people to just, you know, make him feel nice, you know, feel good, hear good, that kind of, uh, you know, message or a sermon he wanted to hear. So after uh, Micaiah said that, King Ahab knew that Micaiah said it because he wanted to hear that. So he again asks him, please tell me what is the real voice of God? So we read that in 1 Kings 22, verse 17, Micaiah responds saying, I saw all Israel scattered on the mountains as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, these have no master, let each return to his house in peace. Meaning that in this battle, the king will die and the people will be scattered. Now, he is speaking this just straight, directly, openly into the hearing of the king Ahab. Now, this should have been hard actually to hear. But the purpose was not to threaten Ahab, but to, you know, lead him to repentance. Ahab never wanted to repent. And he, you know, he in fact puts Micaiah into prison because Micaiah the prophet told the truth. And he calls another prophet who is a false prophet and asks him, you know, what is God trying to tell you? And, you know, that other prophet whose name is Zedekiah, you know, he tries to again kind of pamper Ahab. But in the end, you know, Ahab never listened to the voice of God. He went into the battle and he was killed by a random arrow that struck him between his, you know, breastplate. So, it was a very unusual occurrence, but in the end, God's voice came to pass. So had he listened to the godly counsel of the godly prophet, rather listening to the uh, counsel of the ungodly prophet, he could have saved his life, but he never listened.